when the car started shaking, I just yelled, it's a tornado, just get down, because that's all I knew to do was to get down in the car. I grabbed the case and I put it over my head to keep me from getting hit in the face. This beetle flew an estimated 75 feet from where Skyler had pulled over. I think when the car was shaking, that was when we were being lifted. I was thinking that we were going to get killed. I was worried because Mother's Day was around the corner and I wanted to give Mom her present. Of course, the present any mother most wants is the well-being of her children, as Jareth noted in the story he wrote at school, a story that made the front page of newspapers in Lancaster and Danville. But all that was ahead when Jareth looked around in the car after it came to rest on top of a fence and he saw what went through the spot where he'd been just before his sister yelled duck. If I wanted to dunk, it would have got stuff in my head. The Davises weren't unscathed. A week later, Skyler sports bruises. Jareth cuts from the Beatles' windows. The twister totaled it, but Skyler says the car's little flower holder may have come in more than handy. She'd only recently been to her great-grandmother's funeral. When I was going through my car to find everything, everything out, I found the yellow rose from our funeral, and it was down in my car, and I think that... She was watching over us. This week, Jareth's been something of a celebrity at Lancaster Elementary, and the siblings, born eight years apart, say the tornado brought them closer together. We we usually used to fight a lot, but now we don't anymore. We're so much closer now. Like I appreciate him so much, and I think we're like best friends. <laughs> How long is it going to last? <laughs> I hope for a long time.